Tú, tú, tú puedes opinar y leer lo que muchos dicen por ahí. Lo que muchos dicen por ahí. Pero nadie lo contará como el protagonista. La entrevista del día en Top Deportes. What do you think about these players that were named to be Puerto Ricans and people are starting to say, oh, we don't need him. We don't need him. What do you think about John Collins that he's supposed to? And I got to go like this because... Even yesterday, he was in a live Instagram with um, NBA, and mm -hmm. they talked about it. And he yeah. mentioned the article of the ring, and uh -huh. he mentions that his he has some Latin roots. Um, he lives in Florida. He wants to learn Spanish. His he mentioned his mom is Puerto Rican, and he mentioned his grandfather is Puerto Rican. But then the 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 um, federations and 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 I don't understand if you don't want to talk about his the agent side yeah. and his agent are saying that his mom are from Santa Lucia. But my mm -hmm. question is, would you think a John Collins would help the national team? Or in a specific time, we interviewed Tosh Gibson, and he said his mom was from Puerto Rico, his grandfather was from Puerto Rico. Do you think we need those type of players in the national team? Oh, that's the size, experience. We, we always these guys like that. But my thing with any player that's like that, you got to want to be there. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. Like, I'll go to war with whoever i'll go to work whoever you know because at the end of the day puerto rico is it's hard so if he wants to play then it's all love like we're here for you bro like, we'll support you 100 like let's do it and i'm not just saying him specifically any player and i don't care i don't care where you play i don't i don't care where you play at, at any level if if you're not going to come and, and play for puerto rico because you want to play then you know what i mean like and, and so, for, for me it sounds like it sounds like he interested I, i don't know what the basketball part but The fact that he's even interested in in learning these type of things, that's that I think that's so dope. To, you know, to one for that. me, what what was really strange for mm -hmm. me was that he even spoke about it on an Instagram live with NBA. So yeah. he's following up on what he said, and he's mm -hmm. standing by what he said. So for yeah. me, that's something. That I, and I'm trying. I, I already emailed. We have exchanged emails with um, Atlanta, Atlanta Hawks PR. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to get that interview in. You know, NBA is very different. So we yeah. got to do it that way. But so just a yes or no, Devin Booker, what about him? Uh, oh, Devin Booker's a bucket. Yeah, I think we had a chance to get Devin Booker too, yeah. but it was a whole situation we, we, with that. I tried Listen, to get uh, that Devin interview. Booker's, the Collins, the, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the, Mark Napier. Pierce, the, um, the Nate Pierce. Nate If we Pierce. can get those guys, dope. Some even though, and mind you, I'm Taj Gibson. Those some of those guys that are in my spot. That means Ramon. Like, like yeah. you got to go. It is what it is. You know that that's, that comes with the game. That comes with the business. Yeah, it's for the island. What about more heart, Mo Heartless? Um, have you talked to him after he played for Puerto Rico? And yeah, most 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 my boy. We never we never first me and Mo never talk basketball. We talk okay. We just, just checking on each other. Everything is good. My thing is, um, with Mo, and I don't I don't know the situation with Mo. You got to understand a guy like Mo. Uh, you wouldn't make Mo, Mo's not the what you have like two three players that's the superstars in the team. Then you have a supporting cast. Mm -hmm. I think with Mo, I don't I don't know what happened with the situation, but I think Mo's still trying to establish himself in the league. Um, maybe if he would have stayed with the national team doing that, that would have probably took away from his off season and stuff like that. Because he's he's yeah. still trying to get established in the NBA. He's he's no no no. Don't get me wrong. He signed a nice contract. He's still yeah. established in the NBA. But still, you know how the on NBA daily, they, on a daily they, basis. They switch guys like that. Mm -hmm. So you still want to focus. You you probably don't he probably didn't want to lose focus or anything like that. That's so why I never blame Mo for his decision on not on like not coming back. Yeah, and it, that didn't change our relationship. Still check on him, like everything is good. You know, that's just that's just a decision that he made. But at the end of the day, he's he's still in the NBA. Mm -hmm. He he finished the uh I don't know if he finished his four year deal yet when he signed the four years. But you know, he's still active in the NBA. You can't you can't blame a guy for that, you know what I mean? Yeah, and right mm -hmm. now he he was popping with the Clippers. But he tr yeah. they traded him. They traded him to Brooklyn mm -hmm. Nets. So he yeah, might no, be no, the Knicks. The Knicks. The Knicks. My bad. My but, bad. But, yeah, but, but I think this year he's going to be a free agent. Yeah. So he's Ramon. Gonna be a free agent. I think yeah. somebody will grab him. Somebody will grab him for sure. Yeah. But still, like, all in all, it's like I think he probably just evaluated things right now. Yeah. Like, like what's more important? He doesn't, mind you, he doesn't know anything about the national team. NBA is more like it's, NBA is the NBA. You know what I mean? He's, he's like, like JJ knows. He, he, he grew up in it. Like that's 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 JJ. Like he, he bleeds like Puerto Rico, you know. And mm -hmm. it's different from a guy that's that's in the NBA already. You at, you're at the top. You're playing in the top. So, so we got 